Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to all the returning subscribers. If you are new, my name is Sihe Mohorosi and I am a second year medical student at the University of Pretoria. So basically what we do in this channel is just talk about all things medicine and student lifestyle. So yeah, it is that time of the year when applications have finally opened for next year, 2022. So I know those of you who want to study medicine have began the uh, applying process and so today's video is just basically going to be about the different medical schools in South Africa and their state of selection. So this video just aims at answering three key questions and those are what universities in South Africa offer medicine, two what are their requirements to study medicine and three how many students does each medical school admit to their program. All right, so before we even get started um, with this, um, I just want to put a disclaimer. So every information that I'm going to be saying here, it's something that I did research on. I'm not sucking it out from my thumb or anything like that. I actually consulted the faculty yearbooks of each of the medical schools that I'm going to be talking about. So yeah, that's another thing you need to just take in mind like if ever you want to find out extra information about a certain degree or course um, i advise you to refrain from just looking at the prospectus because the prospectus just gives you the minimum requirements so it's that thing of you need a six you need to get a 60 in math physics life science and english yeah and then that's as far as it goes but whereas if you download the faculty yearbook of the university that gives you a much more in-depth explanation of how the selection actually happens it will tell you how many spaces they take it will give you the ratio in terms of race like black how many black students how many white students they take it will give you how many students they take from straight from metric how many students they take um, those that have degrees and stuff like that so rather get the faculty yearbook for each university you can just write whatever university you're searching for and write faculty yearbook for health sciences yeah then it should be there and it's much clearer all right so let's get started okay. so i'm actually going to link the video down here on the description so that you guys can see what i'm talking about and you can be able to access the information should you want to further read more about this right so let us get started yes so south africa has a total of 10 uh, medical schools spread across six provinces and i'm going to break them down according to provinces and first up is the eastern cape yes so eastern cape has two medical schools the first one being nelson mandela university which is the newly established university it was established in 2020 and it offers a six-year MPCHB, Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery degree on NMU's Missionville campus. So currently, this institution takes only 50 students for MPCHB. And they say that uh, this figure will gradually increase over the first three years and thereafter it's going to get reviewed. So it's very competitive to get in there because you are fighting to be in the top 50. And with the minimum requirement, they want an application score of 430 minimum. So application score, you just add all your, your percentages for your six subjects, you're excluding life orientation. And the total should give you 430, that's the minimum. Yeah, so I also want to, let me just uh, summarize the minimum requirements for all the institutions so that I, I don't become redundant because I feel like they are almost similar for all of them. So, with most of these institutions, you need at least a level five for your maths, your physics, your life sciences, and your English. That's sixty percent in all of this. In order for your application to be considered, and it's important to note that getting a sixty does not mean you are going to get accepted. In fact, just getting sixties, you will not. Not even a matter of you might not. You will not with sixties only get accepted because competition is very high. So don't even think about minimum requirements when you're working towards getting in. Just strive to get your distinctions because there's a lot of applications and spaces are limited um, in these universities. And you're gonna see, the more I go 
with these universities and I tell you how many students they take, it's going to make sense now because spaces are very, very limited and the amount of applications they get, it's, yeah, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. So really work towards getting your, your best mark that you can achieve. Okay. So, all right. And then the second uh, medical school there, it is Walter Sisulu University. Walter Sisulu also uh, offers a six-year MBCHB program. Uh, this institution was established in 1985, and it is one of only three SA universities that offer the three-year BCMP program, which is the Bachelor of Clinical Medical Practice, alongside Wits University and the University of Pretoria. So at Walter Sisulu University, their admission is 120 students. Okay, so it's not, but at least it's, a, it's, it's way more than Nelson Mandela University. So they take 120 students into their MBCHB degree. Next up is KwaZulu Natal. KZN only has one medical school, and that is UKZN Nelson R. Mandela School of Medicine, uh, which was established in 1951 when it was still referred to as the University of Natal. So the university is based in Durban and it has an intake of 250 students. So it's one of the, yeah, it's one of the few universities that take uh, quite a lot of students uh, for their NBCHB program. And yeah, next up we have Free State. Free State also has one medical school that is UFS, um, yeah. University of the Free State, obviously. Yeah, aka Kofsis, yes. Um, and they offer a five-year MBCHB degree. And they are the only university in the country that offers the MBCHB um, for five years instead of six, like the others. And their intake is slightly less. It's 150 students there. So you can imagine that it's also quite competitive to get a spot when you're only fighting for 150 and mind you, from this 150, they have to divide the certain number that will come from graduates. There's a number that's going to come from high scholars as well. Yeah, and then up next, we have Limpopo. Limpopo also has one medical school, which is the University of Limpopo, and their intake is 60 students. Yeah, 60 students. And we have the Western Cape. Western Cape has two medical schools. Uh, we have Stellenbosch University, which has their medical campus situated in Tigerberg, and they take up to 290 students. Yeah, so they are one of the few that also take a lot of students into their MBCHB program. However, with the, those students who have um, a previous qualification, they say they only take approximately 20 people. And the final selection is based on... A personal interview so you get interviewed and then they take 20 people with degrees right okay and then we have the University of Cape Town UCT UCT is the oldest faculty of health sciences in sub-saharan Africa established in 1912 and it takes uh, 220 students into their MBCHB program which is also six years right and then we have Gauteng. Gauteng has the most uh, number of medical schools. They have three medical schools, two being in Pretoria and one being in Joburg. Okay, first up we have Sfakomahato Health Sciences University, aka Medunsa, formerly known as Medunsa. Uh, it was established in 2015. And the university takes a total of 250 students. 200 being from their mainstream six-year pro MBCHB program and 50 coming from their seven-year MBCHB program, which is the extended curriculum program, right? And just something you need to note about the extended curriculum program they have there. They say that this program is only available to students from disadvantaged schools who are South African citizens and are enrolled in Quantal 1 and Quantal 2 schools. However, students from Quantal 1 and Quantal 2 schools have equal chances of being um, selected to the six-year program 
if they meet the requirements. You understand? All right. So that was SMU. And then we have University of the Witwatersrand or Wits University. Wits also offers a six year uh, medicine program and they call it the, M the MBBCH. Uh, and there are two entry points for the MBBCH. So one, you can enter at first year level when you are currently in grade 12. Or you can enter at third year level via their GEMP program, which is the graduate entry medical program. So you have to do a relevant degree and then write the uh, placement test. And then if you are one of the lucky ones who passes the test and um, your marks put you within the top whatever number of spaces they have, there, then you can get selected into their program. So VITS takes about 240 students a year, but that is first coming students, um, like first year, like those of you coming from matric. I know with GIMP, they take even more, they take 150 for GIMP as well. So those of you who are gonna be starting in third year, if you have a degree, they take 150, and that 150 is separated again. 75 students are from VITS University, so have degrees from VITS, and the other 75 have degrees from other universities. Right. So, and then the last one, the 10th, we have University of Pretoria, that's where I'm studying. Uh, so, UP takes 300 students, yes. They have, yeah, they take 300 students, and there's also quite a number of different ways you can get into medicine here. So they have a program called BSc Biological Sciences. So this program is designed in such a way that the first six months of this program is exactly the same as that of NBCHP1. All right. So it allows you a chance to do the BSc for only six months. And if you are among the top 60, roughly every year they take about 60 students. If you are among the top 60 at the end of first semester, in second semester, you get transferred to medicine. So you just continue, you change from being a BSc student in semester one to being a medicine student in semester two. So it's a very highly competitive um, uh, program. Yeah, a lot of students, I know that meet a lot of students into this program and they only take 60. But if you do not get into the mainstream, you can also do the BSc extended program in biological and agricultural sciences, which is which is offered at the Mamelodi campus. And there they take the top 25 students at the end of the year. So regardless of the marks, whether your average is 80 or 70 or 60 or what, as long as you're in the top 25 there at Mamelodi campus, in this BSc extended program, you make it to medicine. And if you are a UP student, you have a privilege of being, heavy, uh, being able to apply from literally any degree. You can apply from a Bachelor of Arts degree, you can apply from LLB, engineering, whatever degree you are doing, you can do an internal application to study medicine. But obviously, your marks need to be very good. Yes, it is a UP privilege, because I know with some institutions, they prefer that you do science subjects in order to be able to switch to medicine. So this privilege allows you to switch from literally anything. It does not to be, it does not have to be a science degree, right? Mm. Okay. okay, so I think this is where I'm going to stop this video. Um, thank you so much, guys, um, for tuning in. And I hope you really found this information to be helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to ask on the comment section. And if there's any mistake I made in the information that I gave, you are more than welcome to correct me as well on the comment section. Um, yeah, I will try and post a few more videos before I take a break. I'm going to be taking a break on YouTube until July because, yeah, no schoolwork is quite, it's getting quite hectic. But yeah, I'll do my best to maybe upload two or three more videos. And then I'll see you guys full force in July. Yeah, thank you so much for your constant support. Please subscribe, please share the video. And yeah, I wish you guys all the best with all your endeavors. And yeah, goodbye.